computers now uh, for the relevance of picking up this theme supercomputers is especially important for this years because recently scientists have in india created this new supercomputer which shall be given to the uh, meteorological department which will help in forecasting the weather more efficiently for india so supercomputers uh, this theme has been picked up from the current but it also has the relevance as it is a core theme so if a question comes on supercomputers another such important uh, you know theme can be superconductivity now superconductivity for all the science students the meisner effect i hope it is coming back to your mind now superconductivity will conductivity why it is important because recently scientists have achieved superconductivity at the room temperature so this is how you can actually extract the themes of where the uh, question can come in the means as well now coming to the supercomputers uh, first of all you have to understand supercomputers have their application in almost everywhere the fourth industrial revolution which is basically blurring the lines between the physical world and the virtual world right in this case supercomputers again become very important then for uh, uh, accurate forecasting of weather for getting an idea about the sea undersea development for understanding the physical phenomena for under, for you know in the space program also and all of this supercomputers play a very very important role so let us first look at the question let us see how we are going to attempt the answer and then we'll see a model answer a model answer not the model answer uh, it is one of the ways you can attempt this question you can have a better way also do share with us and we'll have an evaluation together of that now coming to the question the question says that discuss the journey of supercomputing in india first part what are the applications of supercomputing so first of all this question has two requirement now let us go back and let us now understand two things first is about of the question second is approach of the question when i talk about about of the question that is what is this question about the what of the question this question is about supercomputing or supercomputers and what shall be the approach of this question the approach of this question has to be that you have to first talk about the journey so when i say journey you have to start from you know there was a time when people uh, we had the embargoes against us we had a lot of restrictions you know the way the world is treating india now it was not treating india that way during the 80s the 70s uh, because of the successful nuclear test we had a lot of restrictions on us we were not part of any of the blocks uh, the usa and the ussr the capitalist and the socialist bloc and therefore uh, you know you remember all that nam and all that everything is correlated uh the bangladesh war the nuclear test and all of that so the developed countries they kind of kept these technologies away from india so india was denied a supercomputer when they wanted to buy one so india kind of built uh, supercomputers from the scratch so you have to mention that journey ab bat behna nahi hai us ठीक है थोड़ा मेंशन करना है एक आध वर्ड एक आध लाइन में मेंशन करना है बहना नहीं है एंड देन you have to write about the current present supercomputers which india is having and then you will conclude with the applications so when uh, the second part of the body shall be applications so you have to write the applications of supercomputer in different various fields and then finally you have to give a good conclusion why and how supercomputers are being implemented in the indian systems right be it governance be it in the scientific research be it in the nuclear power plants anyways the approach can be any of them but you have to conclude with such an approach so let us see what is the problem with this answer in the introduction in the introduction the introduction is a very fairly balanced one which talks about that supercomputers are large systems these are large systems that are specifically designed to solve complex 
complex scientific and mathematical problems so basically what are supercomputers these are large systems which do this job all right so this has been given here it can be used in many industries and then we have the national supercomputing mission so that also has been placed here all right doable then the application is given the application part is given that is what are the applications of supercomputers or supercomputing uh, this model hub spoke model has been very well used if possible you can use these uh, kind of uh, infographic representation uh then uh the journey has been shown like this in 2015 this happened 2018 this happened then in 2021 uh, this is the current stage of the national supercomputing mission and then like this the problem with this is it it is taking up a lot of space it is taking up a lot of word limit and it is too technical to remember now coming do we have to remember these things yes if a question from science and technology comes directly on a particular type of technology let's say like supercomputing and the journey of supercomputers in india you have to write about param shivaya then you have to write about uh, the one uh, uh, you know uh, param brahma and all of these so this you have to do so therefore we have picked up this theme so that uh, along with teaching you how to write we will also teach you these things because these are difficult for you to find at one place so now let us jump to our model answer now in the model answer one thing which was missing in the previous answer is the student the student that was a draft one draft one we show you because these are written by the students and then we rectify and make it a better answer by telling them where you went wrong so in the draft one the problem was in this question there is a demand that talk about the journey first and then the application whereas in that answer the student has talked about the application first and then talked about the journey which is a uh, you know the opposite is it absolutely a crime no it is not a crime but it is okay to go in a synchronized way now coming to the introduction i think the introduction is more or less similar if not exact the national supercomputing mission has been you know taken up in the later time and in the introduction a very simple very beautifully uh, you know lucid simple definition has been taken that is supercomputing denotes any computing environment any computing environment which breaks up tasks which breaks up tasks into smaller tasks that can be processed this is the important part that can be processed in parallel so the parallel processing is possible here over multiple processes and uh, it results in high computational speeds so this is first important thing high computational fee speeds and second the efficiency also becomes high so the speeds are higher as well as the efficiency are higher and it helps researchers in the different fields now this is a very balanced uh, you know introduction to supercomputing now coming to the journey of supercomputers in the journey of supercomputers you have to start from the very beginning that india was denied a supercomputer earlier so in journey the supercomputers were denied and we had to build the cdac cdac is that organization the indian organization cdac is headquartered at pune and we had to build our own supercomputer uh, which is param 8000 so you will find a labs in your schools and colleges named as param so this was our first supercomputer and you know we simply took parts from different countries processor from somewhere we built it kind of reverse engineered also a lot of stuff and made it which is uh, you know useful for the indian requirement when did all this happen this all happened in 1991 so can you believe it for such a long time we did not have access to super computers because we were denied so we took it up it happened in isro it happened with isro it happened with the super computers so india has to do everything from the scratch because we are always denied first and then uh, we take up the challenge and do it so this is something you should be proud of 
now there was a why we had to do it on our own because there was a technical embargo what is an embargo they say right now iran is having an embargo what is an embargo embargo is when there are restrictions placed on a certain country by a group of country uh, or a group of uh, let's say a trade block or something like that so that is called an embargo now comes uh, the main program regarding supercomputing in india that is national supercomputing mission so national supercomputing mission came into picture in the year 2015 so in the year 2015 i came up with national supercomputing mission very important so rather than using it in the introduction since it is a uh, important part of the body because it is also showing the journey you can use it here now with the national supercomputing mission uh, it set uh, wh what was the main aim of the mission the main aim of the mission was to set up the grid of supercomputing facility in the academic and research institute so a grid in academic and research so this is where your iits nits and all their role comes and research is let's say for the meteorological department for the nuclear department etc here it has three phases phase 1 2 and 3 the phase 1 has been already concluded now coming to the pratyush mission pratyush mission is given by double itm pune a very important uh, institute double itm pune is also uh you have to tell me you have to tell me does it have to do anything with the lego india project also so this is a, a very important institute apart from that uh, mihir is the name of the super computer whereas um, uh, pratyush is the name of the super computer in pune and mihir is the name of the super computer in noida uh, this is uh, to improve the weather forecasting so what are these two super computers about weather forecasting again i'm saying super computers initially were used for weather forecasting in india uh, pratyush and mihir one is in pune another is in noida now came a super computer which is completely indigenous assembly so it was completely assembled in india and that was param shivai which is in, uh, currently placed in iit bhu when was it placed in the year 2019 what is the name the name is param shivai where is it in iit bhu in which year 2019 what is the speciality it is a completely indigenous assembled now coming to the next which is param siddhi very important very important this is the reason why we are taking up this question because it has been in news so uh, in param siddhi the computing speed has been increased to uh, 50 petaflops so uh, petaflops flops and petaflops if you do not know we i think we have given in our uh, uh, the last 40 pages final pages is a booklet we had released for the prelims going students in which we have very beautifully explained uh, how what are flops what are petaflops and how it, it helps in calculating the speed uh, param siddhi is used here then for uh, increasing value addition 30% of the domestic value addition in phase 1 and 40% in phase 2 more than 2400 uh, workforce has been trained in super computing so it has so many elements one is the process second is also the training which is improving the manpower what are the improved outcomes of param siddhi again rat lo isko ghot lo aap isko param siddhi ठीक है फिफ्टी पेटाफ्लॉप्स क्या स्पेशलिटी है इसकी शॉर्ट रेंज फोरकास्टिंग स्किल्स हैव इंप्रूव्ड टू फाइव डेज फ्रॉम फाइव डेज टू टू डेज फोरकास्ट अनुपम सुपर कंप्यूटर प्रोजेक्ट इज करेंटली एट बार्क दैट इज बाबा एटॉमिक रिसर्च सेंटर टू हेल्प इन द न्यूक्लियर रिसर्च अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट दीज आर नाउ द एप्लीकेशन विच इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन again uh, that hub spoke model has been used but it has been used here now very important 
where can supercomputers be used for drug discovery drug discovery during covid why did the western countries were able to come up with the vaccines earlier because they have supercomputers which help them in coming to conclusions rt pcr report in uh, urban areas they uh, you get the reports very faster whereas in rural why because they are using older systems the better the system the faster becomes the process in the climate research your ipcc ar6 report is called as the scientific report even your nobel physics prize has been given to climate scientists there is a use of supercomputing then weather forecasting forecasting cyclones monsoon for uh, assessing the air quality why have you put a supercomputer in noida so that you can assess the air quality of the delhi ncr region which is hard hit during the winters it is about to come when you see the pictures of the hazy pictures of the skies in delhi and ncr region now for disaster management seismic vulnerability for oil gas and exploration for testing nuclear weapons and reactors very important now you got an idea why there was a technical embargo in india because they can be used for nuclear weapon testing and for building the reactors so there was you know kaan khade ho gaye the sabke jab humne nuclear test kiya tha aur uski wajah se we had to face an embargo apart from that in the biology and drug diseases also we use the supercomputer now coming to the conclusion we have very well covered both the parts in the body we have learned also about different supercomputers from the point of view of current also if this question comes now let us know how to conclude this answer well in the conclusion you can say for a country that was denied one supercomputer just a few decades ago has now three supercomputers in global 500 fastest supercomputers so india has come a long way and the successful completion of national supercomputing mission will further enable us to address several of these developmental problems right so this was uh, your answer on the uh, national supercomputing or supercomputing what the india's journey so far we'll be coming up with more such answers till then thank you so much have a good